Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I want to explain how to go about setting up blueprints. Um, this is the way I do it and um, I know when I first started I didn't really see many resources on how to do it. So, so I'm going to go ahead and delete everything in the scene and I'm going to assume you have um, your blueprints ready to be set up or you're going to follow along. Um, I'll post a link as to where I got this reference or these blueprints and you can follow along that way. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all name this collection as references and I'm going to turn on my screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. Move that over. Okay so first thing you want to do is hop into the right perspective and go ahead and shift A to add in a reference image and I'm going to use my Triceratops reference as my demonstration. Make sure you have a line to view checked and we're going to go ahead and load in the reference image. So right now you can see that the Triceratops is essentially facing um, backwards. When you have all the references set up it'll be backwards. So what we need to do is we need to have him facing this way. So if that's confusing, I'm sorry, you can go ahead and add in the other perspectives at first and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so let's go ahead and turn the depth on back so we can see the axes that we're working with. And I'm going to turn the opacity down just a little bit, just for my own preference. And we're going to go ahead now, as we need to rotate him around so he's facing this way. So let's rotate on the Z by 180. And now the Triceratops is facing the way we want. So let's drag him down on the Z because we want him or her to be standing on the Y axis. So GZ, drag it down. And if it makes more sense, I could also add in a plane. Let's just say plane. We'll scale it up. So we basically want the Triceratops to be standing on this floor plan. So we'll go ahead and drag it down a little bit. And I'm going to have the feet just go a little bit beyond the plan, or plane, sorry. So I'm okay with that. And we don't need to scale anything. Um, all the perspectives are scaled appropriately. So right now we'll go ahead and rename this as right. And I'm going to go up here and tick this filter, go to selectable here. And I'm going to click this here so that way we cannot select the reference we just set up. I'm going to do the same thing with the plane so I don't mess with that. I'm just going to delete the plane. I don't don't see the need for it. Okay, so let's hop into the front. Same thing, we're going to image, reference. Let's go ahead and add this in. Let's tick the back on. So we need to drag this over here. So let's GX, drag it over. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you have this perspective essentially cut in half. So let's go ahead and try to cut this in half as best as possible. Somewhere to about there. And now we need to level the feet on the floor plane. So GZ, let's drag it down to the X to about here. And on the side perspective, we have the feet going a little bit beyond the Y plane or the Y axis. So we'll do the same here, which looks like we've already kind of accomplished that. So that looks pretty well cut in half in the feeder all set up. So let's go ahead and rename this as front. And we will uncheck the selectable so we can't select it. 
But before we do that, something else you want to keep in mind is when we set up the back perspective, we want to make sure that we don't see this image in the back as we do now. So one way to remedy, remedy this is by selecting, selecting front. And when you go into the back, you can't see it anymore. Sometimes I get confused and I just kind of like click around and see what is working for me. So we're good here. And now we'll go ahead and unselect this. Let's hop into the right perspective. We got that set up. Let's go to the back now. Shift A, image, reference. Load that in. And here's the back here. Let's keep that on front. So now we shouldn't be able to see, yeah, this reference. If I had it on back, you'd be able to see it. So front. It's GX. Let's move this over here with everything else. GZ. Let's kind of position the feet like there, I think. Just a little bit below the X axis. And let's cut this in half. Maybe to about here. That looks good. Let's rename this as back. Untick this. Now we'll hop into, we have the top perspective left. So we'll hop into the top. Shift A, image, reference, and let's add this in. So we have a bit of an issue. We want the triceratops. So here's the face here, and the face is going off in this direction when we need it to go in this direction. So basically all we have to do is just rotate on the Z by 90. Let's try negative 90. And that worked. So now it's all good. So G, X, let's move it over somewhere. about here that's cut in half I think could probably move it on the right a little bit okay that should be fine okay so this is the top awesome so now we have all of our perspectives set up and one way or one thing I like to do is to make sure they are all set up properly. So by doing this, I like to add in a cube. I'm going to hop into x-ray mode. And what I'm going to do is basically we're measuring out and making sure that all of the perspectives line up according accordingly. So I'm going to grab this in edit mode, drag it out all the way to the end of the tail here. Somewhere about there. Let's grab the face. Hop back into the side. GY. We're basically just measuring the furthest points of the triceratops. So that's the beak here. That sticks out way further than the horns or anything like that. And then the tail as well. So we'll grab this top face here. And... We'll drag it down on the Z. So the highest point on the Z axis is this, um, I guess it's like a shield. I, I don't know what it's called. So we'll drag it down on the Z right until we hit that right there. And that looks good to me. Awesome, so let's check out the front here. So let's see if the Z axis is aligned up properly. We could probably move. So because I'm going to stick to the side reference, I always like to stick to one reference image when I'm um, setting everything up. So I'm not going to move this side perspective at all. I'm going to adjust everything around this side perspective. So we already have the Z set up. 
our highest point on the z-axis set up. So I'm looking at the front here and I can see there's a little bit of a gap. So that tells me that we need to select the front image and we need to move it up. So maybe we set up the feet a little bit too far down and that's why they're not lining up properly. So I'm selecting the image now and I'm going to G, Z and holding shift, slowly move it up to about there. I think that should work. So now everything should be set up properly with that. And so let's hop back into this cube reference and we need to scale the sides in. Let's go to the front, S, X, scale up into the thighs. The thighs on the side perspective stick out the furthest. So that looks good. S, X, maybe a little bit more. Okay, great. Now let's see how we're doing on the top. So remember we were scaling the, the, um, the x-axis around the thighs. So we'll see if the thighs are right here. So you could see it's kind of um, intersecting the um, blueprint a little bit, but maybe we just scaled a little bit too far in. Yeah, we kind of scaled too far in. So we'll just scale that out. And that looks fine. There's the blueprints aren't going to be a hundred percent. There might be just we maybe you know don't have this completely centered or something like that. But I think we centered it pretty well. So let's check out the right. So I'm noticing here that the tail is a little bit off. It's hard to see with the pixels and stuff, but let's just pull it on the, on the Y a little bit. And that looks okay. There's a bit of a gap, but it's nothing that's going to throw us off if we model. See how the front here is doing. So we could pull this back a little bit. It's hard to see, but there is a bit of a little bit of a gap. Somewhere about there. Let's check out the top. That's fine. And lastly, let's see how the back's doing. So right away I could see that the there's some gap here with the z-axis. So let's grab the back image. And that's because we pulled the feet down a little bit too far. GZ. Move it up. Somewhere to about there, it should be fine. And the thighs, the x-axis looks good. So we're pretty much all set up now. So we have the right, the front, we have the top, and we have the back. So everything's proportioned correctly and we are pretty much good to go. And you could delete this cube if you'd like and now you just begin modeling. So I hope this image or this, I hope this video helped you out. Um, it definitely was something that I uh, really wanted to learn when I was beginning my processes with modeling. So anywho, I'll see you in the next video and take care.